Lesson 1 Nutrition Basics. In this video we are going to go through two things. First is the nutrition pyramid and second is our three nutrition rules. So let's take a look at the nutrition pyramid. As you can see there are a number of layers to the pyramid and importance is based on the base being the most important which is adherence and getting less important as we move our way up. So there are six different tiers. We have adherence as I mentioned at the bottom, then we have the calories, we have macronutrients so these are our carbs, our carbohydrates, our fats and our protein, then we have micronutrients, then we have the meal timing and finally supplements. Supplements are often where people start to focus when they are looking at getting in shape when actually they make very little difference if you don't have the tiers below in place. Some even estimate supplements make up for about 5% whereas the bottom three make for about 80% of the results. Hence during this course and during your time at, at the gym at ICON we're going to focus primarily on these bottom three layers of the pyramid adherence, calories and macronutrients because if we can get these right and we can we can make some real impressive progress and get some real great results. All right so that's the pyramid done now to the nutrition rules. Now we know it's easy to get lost and confused when it comes to nutrition. There's loads of confusing and conflicting information out there Everyone has their own opinion and advice, so we like to keep it nice and simple because I think in general, as you notice with Icon, we like the simplicity and we like structure and we like that things work quite seamlessly. So you won't find any bad diets or crash diets, no weird supplements or very strange restrictions. Just few simple, very effective, flexible guidelines that are easy to put into action and even easier to adjust to suit your goals, your personal preferences and your lifestyle. It's important to get these nutrition rules right because essentially getting your nutrition right you, you will be able to improve your strength, your body composition, your health and your performance much quicker and much easier. And all can be broken down into three simple rules. So rule number one, 90% of the time make your meals or have a variety of single ingredient foods. This is what it looks like and it means having stuff like chicken, steak, sweet potato, normal potato or regular white potato, peppers, they all have one ingredient, obviously they don't have biomechanically one ingredient but they are minimally processed foods as opposed to crisps for example. So have something like that for dinner instead of a ready meal packet with chemicals, preservatives, salt and calories that you really don't, they don't fill you up. So another way to phrase it is just to eat real food. The reason for it is because it, it's dense in, in, in nutrition, <coughs> packed with energy and gives us energy. It satisfies our hunger way better than processed food, improves our health markers and there are loads of other benefits to it. So you want to aim to include loads of good quality single ingredient foods and not have your diet dominated by junk food and processed stuff. Obviously you can use the spices at your will. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. So you should definitely make sure that good quality whole foods dominate your daily food intake that's why 90% of the time we want you to stick to eating simple single ingredient foods as part of our meals but the other 10% of the time you can be flexible and pretty much eat whatever you want. So what this would look like, it's okay to have donuts, it's okay to have some junk food and it's okay to just enjoy some of the sort of not so great or optimal food choices that you love. Don't worry about having these things every now and then, just make sure that they don't dominate your diet and when you do have them that they fit into your calorie targets of the day. 
we're go we are going to talk about calories and tracking your food in a bit but the reason we want them to fit into your calorie targets is so you don't massively overeat and you know if you overeat you'll consume too many calories and you will struggle to lose body fat for example um and we know that if you want to lose body fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit, which means consuming slightly less calories than our body is burning. So be flexible, obviously within those targets, but don't be rigid with your food. You know, food is there to be enjoyed, but just allow yourself for about 10% of that flexibility when it comes to the highly processed stuff or the junk food and recognize that if you had it, it doesn't mean you have to finish the whole packet. You can just stop. Um, we are big advocates of this approach because it allows you to enjoy your life and not feel like you're on a strict diet all the time. It means you can go and have some ice cream when you go to the cinema or, you know, uh, you and your partner can in enjoy uh, wine or you can have some cake at your kid's birthday party. But all this is reliant on rule number three and this is the important one rule number three is to track your food intake and hit your calorie and macro targets every day so um macronutrients are protein carbs and fats um, now this is important because if you don't track you can't possibly know if you're eating too much or too little or are you being consistent at all now obviously you don't have to count calories but they do count all the time and I like the analogy that when you are speeding or you get speeding tickets, it would be good to look at the speedometer to look at what speed you actually are driving rather than just rely on the sound of your engine. So tracking is a bit like that. It just gives you that initial gauge of where you are now and what changes you have to do. Um, and, you know, because if you don't know, what you are consuming or how much then um it's very hard to ex to realistically expect good long-term results and like i said the main reason for tracking is to see if your nutrition targets have been set you know um that are set by your coach or by us are actually working and you know that means that if you are eating too much food and that prevents you from losing body fat or if you don't eat enough to start building the muscle so um, you will obviously um, educate you as well to how to start with the targets. Um, but there will be just a starting point. And then when you check in with us or when you get the measurements done, we can then just see if you, if you need to eat more or if you need to eat a little bit less and we can make those small adjustments. Um, it's important to try and be as accurate and as consistent as possible. And you can all do all this in the app called My Fitness Pal. Tracking your food allows us to monitor what you're eating and make adjustments in decreasing or increasing your calorie intake. So your prog progress never plateaus for too long. So as well as sticking to rule number one, which is 90% of the time make your meals or have a variety or single ingredient foods, and rule number two, which is be flexible 10% of the time, you're also going to try and stick to rule number three, which is to track your food intake and hit your calorie target every day. An important note is that you're never going to be spot on on the exact gram or the exact calorie every day, but a good level of accuracy, accuracy is to be within 100 to 150 calories of your daily calorie target. Um, so for example, if your target is two and a half thousand calories, having 2,400 to 2,600 is really, really good. You're never going to be, you know, spot on, but being consistent allows us to make changes when we need them. So there, the free nutrition rules, we literally can't make it any simpler. Now, it's not easy because there are lots of things that go into getting these things right. There's lots of habits, lots of hard work and a lot of consistency. But that is as simple and straightforward as nutrition can be broken down. So just those three things. Um, and the reason is just these three things is because it's easy to understand. It's straightforward to put into action. And most importantly, they work and they get the job done and get the results. So um, on top of that, and this, you know, this is really important part. 
you won't ever feel like you're dieting because there's that flexibility, there's a wiggle room and there's always room to make some changes without feeling like you're fallen off the wagon. Um, there's room to enjoy some of the foods that you love that wouldn't be typically classed as healthy, for example. So just those three simple nutrition rules as a nice easy start. Rule number one, 90% of the time make your meals or a variety of single ingredient food. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. And rule number three, track your food intake and hit your calorie and macro targets every day or most days. Now, just a couple of things I want to add. When you start tracking, you'll find it a little bit tricky. So the first thing I want you to focus on is just hitting your calorie targets. Don't worry about the carbs, fats and protein too much. Just hit your calorie targets or stay under. Then once you've got them nail, nailed, aim for calories and protein and get those two things nailed. So you want to stay under the calories and hit the protein target. Then once you've got the calories and protein, then we can move on to hitting calories, protein, carbs and fats. If you really do struggle with this and you're completely finding it tough, um, and you're finding it tough or maybe just completely new to tracking, a way to make it a bit easier is don't even worry about hitting specific calorie or macro targets. Just get used to using the app, tracking your food and seeing how much you're eating each day just to get a feel for it for a week or so of how it actually works. And once you feel comfortable with it, then go into tracking your calorie targets and then your macronutrients later on. 